Hello, and welcome to the Monday Sports Edition of the Scarlet Scoop. I'm Julie McVicker, here to give you the latest news in Buckeye sports. The Ohio State women's lacrosse team absolutely crushed Detroit in their season opener, beating the Titans 22-8. Even though the team graduated nine seniors, it didn't slow them down at all. If anything, it gave the players even more of an opportunity to step up into new roles. Two of the key players were Molly Wood and Rainey Hodgson. Sophomore midfielder Molly Wood started off strong, scoring just two minutes into the game for the Buckeyes. She ended with a game-high five goals as an integral part of the attack. For me, it's right place, right time. Every, like My teammates always set me up for success with all their feeds and everything, and I just happen to be in the right place at the right time, and it's just easy to put them away. So I think it's really important that we, we put up a lot of goals today so we show that we can play with these big teams. Like We lost a lot of seniors, and it was important for us to show like we're back and we're, we reloaded and we're just ready to get that top 20 and be who we are. Rainey Hodgson, senior attackman for OSU, also played a vital role, finishing with two goals and four assists. Hodgson knew her team had to make a statement, so she made sure they did just that. Um, today was really great because we got to see certain things we need to work on, whether it's um, you know sharpening up passes around the perimeter or um, you know really locking in on that high-low movement on offense. So I think to be able to work on that as a team will really help sharpen sharpen the sword for our next few games. We always got to go out and play like it's our last game, last half. We got to come out strong and start the way we finished, and um, you know kind of start the way we want to make a statement. We caught up with Coach Venachanos after the game, and she said she was excited about the result, but she knows they have a lot of work to do. We didn't really know what to expect for it, but I thought um, we came out right off the, um, the start, and we were really efficient in the attacking end, and I think that gave us confidence, momentum, you know, throughout the midfield and defense. And I think defensively, you know, with, we just have to clean up a little bit. We gave up one too many, I think, free positions. Um, we're going to work on that this week. I know we'll get to the bottom of it. Um, and we're looking forward to using, you know, the positives from this game and clean up a couple things in the clearing game and defensively as we head into our first away trip next week. The Buckeyes will be looking to continue their unbeaten streak as they travel to Berkeley, California, this Friday to take on Cal and Stanford. Over to women's basketball, who continue to dominate the Big Ten with a clutch win over Penn State on Sunday, beating the Nittany Lions 77-63. This is the number six Buckeyes' ninth straight win. Amherst Alston hit a career-high eight three-point field goals during the game and led the team with 26 points. Kelsey Mitchell added 17 points, and Alexa Hart finished with 12 points and 14 rebounds. OSU remains first in the Big Ten standings with four games left. They take on Nebraska at home this Thursday at 5 p.m. The Cornhuskers are coming off a huge win, knocking off number 17 Michigan State on Sunday, 73 to 66. The Buckeyes will have their hands full, but they should be confident that they'll get the job done against Nebraska, who are sixth in the Big Ten going into this game. That's all we have for you on today's Scarlet Scoop. To stay updated on the latest news on campus and sports, tune into Lantern TV throughout the week and check us out on thelantern.com. Also, don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Until next time, thanks for watching. Thank you.